Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima. If you are new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some products that are new at Sephora. Today's video is going to be in collaboration with Sephora. I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of new makeup that they sent to me to share with you guys. If you're like me, then you know how hard it is sometimes to get out of that makeup rut. I've been there. Sometimes I get into a rut where I'm just using the same products over and over and over again. I do like to branch out and see what else is out there and what new has came out. All these products are going to be new and exclusive to Sephora. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First one they sent me was the Milk Makeup Glitter Stick. This glitter stick retails for $14. To me, when I see this and I, when I put it on my face, I'll show you guys how it looked on my face, on my bare face, exactly. I see like festival makeup with this stick. So let's say you're going to a day festival. This stick is going to be something that you can use to add like a pop of glitter to your cheeks or your lip. It does have more of like a multicolored glitter in it. It's very, very packed with glitter. Hence the glitter stick, obviously. That's the first thing that I wanted to go ahead and show. The next one I want to talk about is the Sunday Riley Auto Correct Brightening and Depuffing Con Eye Contour Cream. So for me, I've always been that type of person where I haven't found the perfect eye cream that works for me, and I'm still on the hunt for that. It's supposed to instantly reduce eye puffiness, and it's got this yellowish tint when you first apply it, and it's supposed to reflect light so that light bounces off your under eyes and it makes your under eyes look brighter. Like I said, I'm still looking for an under eye cream that feel like works for me. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat and I'll keep you guys updated on this. So the next thing I have, which I'm already wearing one of right now, I'm completely obsessed with this shade. These are the Sephora Lip Stories in the shades Celebrate Popsicle Lips Hot in Havana and Coconut Grove. Coconut Grove is more of a metal lipstick, so it's gonna have glitter in it, and it's gonna be a lot more shinier than all the other ones. Celebrate is more of a matte pink shade. It is very, very pigmented, and it glides on really easily. This is something that I'm definitely waiting for spring to be wearing, because it's definitely a spring color for me. And then the next shade is um, Popsicle Lips. You guys already know how I feel about red lipstick. All these lipsticks are only $8. This shade that I'm wearing right now, y'all, how gorgeous is this shade? The shade is called Hot in Havana, and I just think it is gorgeous. It looks so well with this eye look. Aren't you guys surprised that I'm not wearing the red one? <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not wearing the red one. And then probably one of the ones that I was most excited to try when I got it is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Guys, this packaging, they did that. Like, look how pretty this is it's just gorgeous packaging if you're a packaging freak you're gonna love this because they really did it with this so basically it's a four pan eyeshadow palette they're super pigmented i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you guys really quickly but they are very very highly pigmented foil shadows and they do apply best with your finger so um i did try and apply it with like a brush to like just touch up because i made a mistake with my eyeliner and it didn't really apply that well so these are definitely supposed to be applied with your finger and look at that you guys so pretty these are three warm tone foiled eyeshadows these two right here are basically like pressed glitters and i applied these with my foundation already on and I barely had any fallout even with the pressed glitter. I really like the way this eye look came out. Let me know down below if you guys like it as well. And then the last one I want to share with you guys is the Stella McCartney Peony fragrance. Um, I am a big perfume junkie. I used to be one of those people that was really into the fruitier perfumes. I know. I know. I know. I was like diehard fruity perfume. Now I'm wearing the more uh, clean, refined, and this is definitely what that is. It's a really nice addition to my collection. I have more of like a clean, more of linen-y smell. This one feels like more clean, like citrus smell. And I think that's all I have for you guys. If you have tried any of these products or you're going to try any of these products, make sure you share with the hashtag new at Sephora. I hope you guys have saw something here that maybe inspired you to try something different with your makeup routine. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for watching. Lots of love and I'll see you guys next time.